All right, so today we will learn how we can re uh, generate release SHA1 fingerprint certificate and debug SHA1 fingerprint certificate. That's a pretty long name. All right, so first of all, to generate release SHA1 fingerprint certificate, we already need a, you know, signed APK. So I have this here, key store here. All right, we need this key store, okay? So uh, if you don't have a signed APK, you can uh, check out our video that must be somewhere in the description below that shows you how we can you can generate a signed apk all right so uh, once you, if you have that already then you must have the key store if you don't have just go check out the video and then come back here so once you have this key store what you need to do is you need to use a java's key tool so if you don't have that in the your systems path where it is is you go to your program files java and JDK and where is it bin and here you have key tool so this is what you use so what you need to do is hold shift and right click here now I think you can use this PowerShell now in case you uh, cannot we just go to our good old command prompt and copy this path and browse cd and shift insert to paste that so now you are in this directory now you can use the key tool so what you need to do now is you need to run a command and where is the command let me just i'll have this command you know in the description so you can have key tool no need to put exe there list and then key store and then the path of the key store here so what is that key store's path so the key store's path has you right click here go to properties so this is the key store's path and what is the key store name test key store dot jks right so let's go here you shift insert to paste it and then you go test keystore.jks all right now should i ask for the password now the password i had put is p-a-s-s-w-o-r-d itself it's real difficult and this is your release sha1 certificate fingerprint there you go all right now if you want to do this for debug thing what you want to do is now everything is same but instead of this thing you have your debug key store in your where is it let me show you the path it's in mm -hmm, where is users it's in your username and then here this is the debug def, uh, debug key store you just copy you just copy this and then in here you replace it with the debug key stores path you get where i'm going with this so you just write d e b u g dot k y s u r a all right and the password here is a n d r o i d android there you go now this is your debug certificate fingerprint all right thank you guys and if this helped you hit the thumbs up button or subscribe that will be a great help for me all right guys if you have any queries, let me know in the comment section below.